what's cracking you too it's your boy double p the come to general back with another video back with another video and uh yeah man i want to let y'all know that this my career shit is getting crazy it's getting real crazy the way they got this game all changed around bro it's like hella changed around and they ain't telling nobody bro they ain't even let nobody know but uh i'm gonna let y'all know this i got selected for the all-star game it's my first career so yeah i made the all-star team me and Takumpo had to choose and i think that's kind of cool that they put that in the game i think that's kind of dope and what y'all looking at on the screen is me balling out in the rookie game the world versus the usa i did a little something i did a little something up in there but like i said me and Takumpo was basically team captains so it's the compton team and the Takumpo team and that's pretty dope that they put that inside this game, bro. That you can choose your own all-star team this year. And what you're looking at on the screen is me and Takumpo going back and forth, choosing different all-stars, bro. I was trying to get them all, but Takumpo wind up getting a lot of people I really wanted. And you already know out the gate, I was going to choose LeBron. You already know that was out the gate. I was going to choose LeBron. He took Durant. He, man, I don't know what he was doing, bro, but... He basically was taking everybody that I wanted after I got LeBron. Like, I wanted um, James Harden. I wanted Westbrook. But Takumpo, bitch ass, start taking everybody after I got LeBron. Like, bruh, come on. I didn't even want Steph Curry, but I was stuck having to pick Steph Curry because he was the best on the list. So I wind up grabbing a bunch of guards, bruh. I had to grab a bunch of guards on this. So. If you're looking at the team on the screen, you see I had to pick Kyrie up. I got Kyrie, Steph, me, LeBron James, and I'm still picking more people up. But while I'm speaking, this dude right here, Takumpo, was taking all the centers, all the power forwards. Like, bruh, we still wind up running it up, but it's just a fact. A couple players that I wanted to pick for my all-star team, I'm going to let y'all know now. Takumpo or whoever the other captain is, this is going to pick the best player. Everybody, you don't pick. So, yeah. Just make sure you choose wisely. Don't do it fast. Or if you already know who you're going to pick, you might as well do it fast. But pay attention to who you pick and Just pick the people you want, basically. Because uh, whoever you don't pick, the other person is going to take. And you're going to be left with the leftovers or whatever they don't take. But you get to pick starters. And you get to pick reserves. And then you get to run it up. But I'm just happy they put this in the game. This is cool, something to do in your my career besides play game after game after game. Because that's all I've been doing on this grind is playing game after game, no sleep, just straight games. And right now, this All-Star game is a good relief to get away from my career, bro. Because my career been killing me. I played a couple games in the park, and uh, I can say the park has definitely changed. I'm going to drop a video on that. Maybe my next video might be a rant video, so y'all just stay tuned for that, where I'm going to just tell y'all about all this bullshit that I've been experiencing on 2K19. Right now, this video is just about the All-Star game and wrapping up. That's it. That's all this video right here is about. But like I said, this dude, Takumpo, took all the good players that I really wanted after I chose LeBron. And uh, we just finished it out with that. I just said, fuck it, I'm going to take Kyle Lowry. And it's like only a couple people left, you feel me? Which is D'Angelo Russell. So I wind up getting Russell too. And just ended the squads with Russell. And if you're looking on the screen, you can see basically the teams. I think my team is still lit. Even though I didn't get two or three people that I did want. But uh, for the most part, I ran it up on these dudes. Something crazy with my team. I'm going to leave the team up there so y'all can see exactly who's there. And who's on the other team. But... This, this mode is actually going to be crazy when you get a chance to choose AIs because you ain't going to know who you're choosing in like year 10 or year 15 or some shit. It's going to be a bunch of AIs, bruh. So that's going to be crazy. But we chose our teams. And I guess you get a, you get a hell of cut scenes with these stars. They really amped up the cut scenes. And I can't say that face scan is lit this year. But uh, this is just an all-star gameplay right here. I'm just going to show you all a few plays. I'm not going to show you all too much of the game. I'm just gonna show y'all a couple of the highlight plays, nothing major. But uh you can see the starting lineups. I don't know why my head looks so small. Everybody else's head is big and mine look like a midget head, bruh. I'm 6'8, but 2K, y'all need to work on y'all heads, bruh. Work on y'all 2K face scan. Work on the sculpting. 
of the skull, bro. Because that them heads is weird compared to real NBA headshots. But check it out, man. Your boy was scoring, throwing assists, dunking on niggas, doing everything I'm supposed to do as a 6 slash slashing shot creator. And for everybody who's slashing shot creators, like I said in my last video, they nerfed us a hell of a lot, bro. They nerfed us a hell of a lot from badges to abilities, but you can still rock out. It's all personal preference, really. This game is all personal preference, so if you think you can play a different way with another archetype, so be it. But Slash and Shot Creator is my way, my play style, so that's why I'm rocking out with it. And for everybody that's sticking with the Slasher game, man, shout out to y'all, bro. No matter what kind of build you got, shout out to you, bro, if you're rocking with the Slashers, because I can tell you right now, 2K19 is geared towards the pure sharps and the inside big mans. If you don't have either one of those builds, you probably won't rep up as fast as everybody else, but you see me, this is 2K19. I'm taking it back to 2K18. And yes, bruh, I'm picking up them checks. Always gotta pick up them checks, bruh. I hope it can get higher, but for some reason, it don't get higher, man. You cannot let your check stack on 2K19. You gotta go pick your checks up. If you don't, you will have no other money in there. So they actually changed it to where the VC place has nothing to do with NBA. All it is is straight endorsements. So the more games you play, it don't really mean nothing. You gotta go pick your money up ASAP. It's not gonna make more checks be there if you just play games and let it stack up. You can't do like last year. So they changed that. And I think that's kind of whack. But if you pay attention to your incentives too, a lot of people are saying they are not getting their incentives, bruh. A lot of people are saying they are not getting paid with the screen say. And once again, 2K is finessing. Finessing people for VC. And they finessed me earlier on the Gatorade, a little Gatorade and the Boost. So if y'all buying Gatorade and Boost, please watch your screen, bruh. Watch your screen. I bought like four different categories, like 10 boosts each category, played two games, and I only had two boosts on each category except for one. And uh, actually, one of them was actually on zero. So they finessing with the boost. They finessing with the, the Gatorade. So I'm going to show y'all this. This is a rep-up finesse. A rep-up finesse, bro. Everybody who's repping up to 91 from 90 has one bar. One bar. A lot of people been hitting me up. How many bars does it take to get to 90? How many bars does it take to get to 91 from 90? Bruh, I've been telling everybody one bar. Because all my friends had one bar. But if you look at my screen, I put all three in. And for some reason, my 90 overall does not go to 91 when I upgrade at 90. Why? And that's because every archetype has a different bar system, bruh. Some niggas is hitting 89, and when they upgrade, they go straight to 92. They go straight to 91. My homie is on an 88 bar or an 89 bar that has three fucking bars. 2K, you fucked this game up so bad in every which way. Leave the upgrade bars alone. Everybody needs to have the same bars. There's no reason why I should have two bars to 91, and everybody else is just one bar straight to 91. Why do I have two? Why do my homie, Official Tank, have 389 bars? Why is he going through three bars of 89? Why? 2K, please fix this game. Make You, you said this shit was going to be even, more balanced, more all that bullshit. But why niggas has got six, 689 bars? Why? Y'all want to know why? Because these money-grubbing motherfuckers at NBA 2K do not want y'all to hit 99. They hoping you give up. They hoping you quit. They hoping you don't grind. So Mike Wang, Ronnie 2K, and any other NBA 2K dev, y'all need to hit up the community and let us know what's going on ASAP. Every archetype, you need to know how many bars is left. Let me know when that happens. Besides that, comment, like, subscribe, turn the notifications on, and I'm gone. Peace.